Hi, in the last video we have talked about domains, hosting and some information in general why you need it for example. Today we are going to check where you can buy a domain, hosting and what services I can recommend to you. So quick search on Google, buy domain and you can see some providers like Namecheap, GoDaddy, one.com, domain.com and all sort of providers where you can buy a domain. So I have picked some I can recommend for you. So let's start with the Namecheap. This is the domain uh, service where I purchase most of, my, most of my domains and they provide all sort of extensions like .com, .online and pretty much everything you can imagine. So quick search if it's available and we can see that MetPersonal domain.com is available and you can buy it like for six dollars if you are new buyer. Then there is Namesilla. It's another one I have used in past. It's also good. You can compare the prices between them. GoDaddy is another good provider. In this tutorial and course in general we are going to use Namecheap. So I would recommend you to buy it here. You can buy some cheaper domain just to try it for like two dollars or even maybe cheaper like one dollar. Now let's talk about hosting providers. So if you write hosting into the Google we can, we can again see that there are many many hosting providers out there. You can try to read some reviews or just go with what I can recommend to you. And that is again Namecheap. They also offer hosting. It's not maybe so good as the competition, but they, ha they have very good prices. That's why I can recommend them. Then there is like HostGator, Bluehost, SiteGround, A2 Hosting, and again we have HostGator here. They are again very good providers that I have used in past, and they are all four of them. I think they are better in terms of speed than the name Namecheap but in this course because the Namecheap is probably the cheapest out of them we are going to go with them so you can just try the options they provide all the settings and we are not gonna be like looking at the speed and like uh, uptime so much in this tutorial because we just want to learn how to use it and we don't need to pay the extra bucks that would be required if you were to go with one of these more expensive hosting providers. Keep in mind that for example if you want to buy a domain they will probably also try to sell you a hosting package but if you have a domain from GoDaddy you can buy hosting from Namecheap it's no problem you don't have to buy everything from the same provider. In the next lesson we are going to look in the hosting providers and what packages they offer. I'm going to explain you what's the difference between like shared hosting, VPS hosting, dedicated servers and we are going to cover this in the next lesson. So bye for now.